everybody has to manage it. So you just got to figure out what works best for you. Now, these triple digit temperatures are not stopping some top athletes from competing at Sac State this weekend. However, the hot temperatures are beginning to change some plans all across Sacramento. A number of outdoor events are being either modified or even canceled because of the heat wave. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw continues our team coverage tonight live at Sac State for us, where the U.S. Track and Field Championship will go on as scheduled. Yikes, Jen. Yeah, Sam and Adrian, it was a hot one today. It'll get even hotter, but some of the nation's top athletes will be here this week. It gives Sacramento the chance to show its enthusiasm for track and field, but for these runners and spectators, it's got to be a steamy couple of days. Athletes have no problem warming up, but the scorching temps may be a tough hurdle to overcome. It's definitely going to be an uh, added factor. When it gets too hot, you start getting dehydrated, start battling cramps, things like that. Setup is underway at this year's track and field championships at Sacramento State, an event expected to draw up to 10,000 people each day. This is an event that's that's close to 10 million dollars in economic impact for the city. It's also great exposure. Uh, around the world as eyeballs will be watching this uh, from everywhere. The hot weather may not be the best for the audience, but athletes say it's better than being cold. They say this week's going to be one of the hottest weeks in Sacramento, so we just knew we had to be hydrated. But are track fans willing to brave the beating sun in the stands? It's going to be a little bit tough for the fans, but uh, we'll have a lot of great races. So what are officials recommending to beat the heat? Bring a frozen sealed water bottle, cooling towel, a cushion to sit on, and of course sunscreen. Umbrellas and tents are, are kind of a no-go because we'll have we expect to have a fair number of people here and don't want to impact anybody's vision. Well, there's no plans as of yet to cancel a race. The start times may shift. Most of the distance runs are pushed to the evening. We're gonna try to push them a little bit later. Think about it as still being in the heat and under the sun, and if it gets moved back, that would be great. Athletes say they're determined to do their best despite the treacherous forecast. I'm ready. Yes, it's going to be a fun meet. USA's is always a brings out the best in you, so it's going to be a good meet. And tomorrow, the legislative soccer match for charity and Thursday's Fair Oaks concert in the park will be postponed till August. Finally, the Davis Sutter Farmers Market has been canceled for Thursday. Now, obviously, if you're going to be out here at Sac State, there will have plenty of cooling stations, but again, it's still going to be hot, so be careful. Boy, be careful is right, Jen. Thanks very much for that live force tonight at Sac State.